interviews are often very awkward times for a lot of job seekers and having to see it before persons who are way more experienced and advanced than you are and having to take questions from them can make a lot of persons uncomfortable. And sometimes the attitudes that we bring to the table and the way we respond to questions might be the thin line that determines who gets the job and those who don't. So in this video, I'm going to share with you some tips to help you answer interview questions better. So tip number one, do not rush into responses. So whether you're facing one person or you're facing a panel of professionals, it is very important that you pay very close attention to make sure you've understood what the question really is. And then you take a pause to think about it and get your responses together because it's often better to start slowly and give a very articulate answer than rush into it and and get confused midway and sometimes all of the thinking sound like um, um, uh, you know, you know, those are stuff you might want to avoid and this happens when you speak too quickly and you have not got all of the statements you'd like to make from beginning to the end and you have to think in between to try to fill in what is missing. So those are stuff you totally want to avoid. Tip number two, be confident but then avoid being cocky. When the questions come, you, you want to be very clear with your responses and your confidence shows in you know, the way you give the handshake, whether you're giving a firm handshake or quite a feeble one, whether you're sitting up straight and looking straight ahead or if you're slouching on the seat and uh, looking down and avoiding eye contact and all that. So it's important that you come in with an attitude of confidence. You know, I mean, there has to be a difference between being confident and being fierce is not a fight or a battle but you know you must show that you're at ease and that you're comfortable being in their presence because most times the people in the room are going to be your future work colleagues so if you're not going to be comfortable sitting and having that conversation about the job with them then there are chances they might not want to keep you as a colleague so you need to watch your attitude and get yourself pumped up and prepared before you walk into that room number three be loud and clear so when questions are asked it is very important that you speak out and address whatever questions come it wouldn't really be nice if you try to speak this way or you know if you're not able to speak up and people don't understand what you're saying chances are you may not really stand a chance to get a job you wouldn't have a chance at all so when the questions come speak out loud and clear and make sure that you're well heard and understood tip number four we can't say this enough maintain eye contact with the interviewers and then if you're sitting before a panel of two or three persons you might take turns to to look at them as you address the questions tip number five in responding to questions especially as you relate to your skills and and experiences you might not want to be very modest because there are sometimes when people become you know too modest they don't want to appear as perfect or is good enough but what they don't realize is all of the persons in the room who are interviewing you are pretty much more skillful or more experienced than you are it doesn't matter what skills they may have in comparison to yours but they are way ahead of you and that's what's putting them in the right side of the table and you are at the wrong side of the table so chances are that no matter what you say you might just manage to impress them but chances that you blow them away with your skills and experiences uh, that's not going to very likely so speak about your skills your competencies your experiences as far as they are truthful and as far as you can back them up with evidence and you have all of the different documentations and you have uh, testimonials to to prove the fact that you're really good at what you say you are but then what you might want to avoid is making claims that you cannot back up because they often check this thing sometimes even way in advance so that when you're telling lies they totally know. And finally, tip number six, avoid rambling. And a lot of persons do this, especially when they do not know uh, responses to questions that have been asked and they want to uh, bullshit their way through the whole response and so they just, ah, yeah, you know about the technology in action, about the internet network and oh, 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 oh. And then they feel that the longer you speak, the more impression you make, but that's totally wrong. A very simple, intelligent response will be more and better priced than a very loud and boisterous one. So you might want to watch that and take care not to give responses that are not on point. 
so yeah i think that you have the five tips so give us a like subscribe if you haven't click on the bell so you're notified every time i make new content thank you for watching see you in the next video and do not forget to leave a comment in the section below